I think photos are kind of just the foundation of everything we base off of. Yeah. So um, I think creating awareness with photos is really important and a great way for team members to level up and kind of make themselves irreplaceable in the practice. Welcome to the 3D Dentist Team Podcast, The Dental Diaries, where we explore implementing the 3D Dentist systems from a team perspective. Join me, Meredith, and my co-host, Aubrey, as we share insights on cultivating growth and support within your dental team. Whether you're new to the dental field or a seasoned pro, our podcast dives into topics like effective team dynamics and patient care strategies. Expect engaging discussions and expert insights to elevate your dental practice. So hit subscribe and join us on this journey to transform your practice with the 3D Dentist team podcast, The Dental Diaries. And like always, keep flossing and stay bossing. Welcome back, guys. We are joined today by Meredith uh, for another episode of our 3D Dentist Team podcast, The Dental Diaries. Thanks, Aubrey. Yes, welcome everybody back to our show yep. slash podcast, yep. <laughs> depending on where you're watching. Today's episode, we're going to talk about one of the things that we talk about as really our first fundamental mm -hmm. um, at 3D Dentist. We talk about four fundamentals all the time. You probably hear it on repeat, and it's one of those things that we just can't get enough of. I mean, yeah. I feel like we dive, could spend a whole day diving deeper um, in with those people who even have been with us for years or have been, you know, even our own practices, right? Yeah. Like, one of the things with awareness is just making, I mean, it literally is what it says, just making patients aware, right? Mm -hmm. I think if we could pull the doctors all day on what they would prefer their team members could do, it would be take photos and create awareness for patients. Yeah. If you could tee your doctor up like that, I think they would be just over the moon. Over the moon. So do you want to talk a little bit <laughs> yeah. about um, how to kind of create that awareness yeah. for patients and what we, what we recommend for that? Yeah. So like you were saying, you know, taking photos, I think, is the most important thing. And when we say photos, we mean with a digital camera. Um, so not intraoral photos, extra oral, uh, extra oral digital photos with full cheek mouth. retractors and mirrors and, um, yeah, smile shots, full face photos, mm -hmm. um, occlusal shots and buckle shots. Those that series, I think, just paints a picture and, you know, speaks volumes when you're communicating with the patient. It's something that's so valuable, which is funny to say because we don't get paid anything for it. Yeah. Uh, it's probably one of the only things it's we free do. of charge to the patient. Yeah. yeah. But it is so valuable to us to be able to um, present treatment and create that awareness. Yeah. And as a team member, we have these patients all the time that will come in and be like, oh, yeah, I don't have any problems. I'm just here for my cleaning. Yeah. But we know that there's a lot going on or they've got several amalgam fillings that have failed and need to be replaced, but the patient's not having pain. So how do we explain that to the patient? You know, then it becomes this it's either education to death or sales that the patient can perceive and doesn't, you know, they leave with a bad taste in their mouth. Yeah. And mo both of those, I would say 90% of team members are not comfortable with. Yeah. And if we had to choose one, we would lead towards the ed educating, uh -huh. which 100%. is probably what unsells them everything. Yeah. That's, they're like, all right, immediately yeah. stopped listening and they're thinking about how to get out of the chair. Right. <laughs> so um, it's probably the last thing we want them to do. Yeah. So those are kind of the things we, we lean to if we don't have something like photos to yeah. share. So photos are a great way to just bring up conversation. Right. And so I know that, you know, we definitely emphasize our mastermind doctors starting digital photos in their practices. But if you're not in the mastermind program or maybe not using digital cameras in your practice, that's the best thing that I think we ever did for our practice. Because mm -hmm. without cameras or full full mouth photos, you're going to continue to treatment plan based on the, what you can see, which the only thing you can see in an intraoral picture is, you know, one or maybe two teeth, yeah. uh, maybe a quadrant at best. Um, but it, it's not giving the patients the chance to say yes to the best and not making the patients aware of the big picture of what's going on. Yeah. So we laughed about this earlier today, but in 2001, T-Bone was um, taking photos and sending them across the street to like, it was probably like Eckerd at yeah. the time, like one hour photo express where they would print the pictures 
in an hour and he was sending an assistant over every hour to pick up the pictures pictures. could you imagine being that assistant being like i first of all we're on like a main road it's not just like yeah in the neighborhood (laughs) they're just a team of their cars (laughs) to bring those photos back and forth but i think that's how it shows that it was that important yeah and that cost money like for him at the time so it must have been doing something if if he was paying to have them developed right. over there. And they were probably like four by six. And yeah. Like so small. Were you like putting them like at the patient's eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see? I mean, just to think now that we're able to take the photo. He had one team member processing x-ray film yeah. and another team member running across the street for pictures. Yeah. we And there was only like four team members. Yeah. Uh, nobody did anything else. Yeah. Don't answer the phone. Don't worry about <laughs> just anything else. Run Eckerd. <laughs> yeah. Um, But that's something I want to mention because it kind of puts it in perspective about how important it is. And now we are taking the photos. And then the most important thing is before the doctor walks in, we have them on the screen. We've already, hopefully, we've already had time to review the pictures with the patient. So Mm -hmm. when the doctor comes in, that is more of just touching base and the doctor running through it. Mm -hmm. Um, That way it gives the patient time to like kind of soak it all in and they're not just like, ugh. Yeah. Um, right off the bat. Yeah. And in the beginning, I mean, sure, with anything that's new in our practice or in life in general, it's going to mm-hmm. have its its clunky phases and it's going to feel uncomfortable. But I think the more that you have practiced taking the pictures and getting comfortable with the retractors and doing it, the more that you'll realize that it takes so much pressure off of us on the back end because now we're not having to be the ones to, again, sell or educate. We're just saying, right. you know, here's your teeth. If it's okay with you, I'm going to walk through these pictures with you. And that way you can see what we see. Yeah. And it's that simple. You know, literally, is there anything that you like or don't like about your smile? Yeah. Does anything stand out in this picture? Right. Um, have you noticed, you know, this crack in your tooth? Have you ever seen that before? Have you noticed this hole around this silver filling that you've got? You know, just just random observations or trying to get the patient to make observations on their own so that then it's them just saying like, oh, gosh, I didn't know that was happening. What do I need to do to fix that? Right. And then as a team member, how great is that to be like, great question. I'll make sure that, you know, the doctor looks at that and we can make sure to get you a treatment plan for the way out, you know? And I think a lot of things that kind of turn off team members is when doctors ask team members to kind of Mm pre-diagnose so notice about everything you just said about the photos cracks and holes and you know nothing was saying you need a crown you need a feeling a lot of times we can say if we do feel like we have transferred that awareness and a lot of times when we start to transfer awareness if we get really lucky we can transfer concern Mm -hmm. too which is like double whammy hole in one. Yeah. But if level we, three awareness. Yeah, <laughs> if we haven't yet, uh, if we have done that, then we can start to say things like typically Dr. A, when he sees when we have a tooth like this, he he tends to lean towards something like a full coverage or a crown, something mm-hmm. that protects the tooth. Just because, you, as you can see, where this has failed, um, there's not much tooth structure left. Mm-hmm. And so, there we're not we're not diagnosing we're not telling the patient what they need we're saying hey we're looking out for you in these scenarios yeah typically typically, yeah um what most patients end up having to go with is a crown we're not giving them the option maybe he can still do a filling Mm -hmm. um and that's being confident Mm -hmm. and knowing from multiple multiple times of seeing the doctor do that but i promise you every doctor would be just as thrilled with you saying Hey, we went through the photos today. She is aware of all of the silver fillings that have broken down, that have failed for her. They did, you know, they ran a good life. What did we say? They'd been there since 1970. Yeah. (laughs) I was like, "Uh, I don't, I don't think they've been there though. I don't think she's that old. So that was kind of a joke, but they've been there since the nineties. Yeah. You know, they have far out. They've lived their life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, They have done so good for you. Luckily with the technology we have today, we can do something that looks a little bit better for you. Mm-hmm. So it would be great to be able to update all of these for you at once. Yeah. And and again, as the doctor coming in and you teeing them up that way, like they will be so proud and so grateful for that communication and just, again, using the tools or the pictures as a tool to leverage that communication yeah. goes a long way. Yeah. I love how we've talked about all this and, you know, role played and talked about some of the verbiage that we use. 
And we have not mentioned, um, well, one, anything technical. Mm -hmm. Everything's been in layman terms. And two, we haven't mentioned any x-rays. Yeah. No, I mean, literally, d yeah. I would argue you made a, I mean, that's not true. Yeah. You need the x-rays, yeah, but we sure. don't use them as com communication tools. No, and they're not patient friendly. They're not yeah. patient centric. Like a patient looks at those and you're like, you know, you see over here the dark spot, and the light spot. And I'm like, no. They're like, they have no the idea same. what. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Also, I had this happen um, yesterday, actually. We had a patient that needed several uh, fillings and crowns and just had generalized decay. And she had a caretaker that was needing the information sent over so that he could be looped in. And the challenge was that we didn't have photos. Yeah. All that we had taken were bite wings. So right. bite wings don't even show decay on the anteriors. Right. So if we had had photos, it would have been so easy to loop in the caretaker to say, hey, this is exactly what's going on. These are the areas. You can see it in her smile. Um, you can see it on the pictures. But instead, we had to struggle through the communication of these are her right. bite wings. We don't have pictures of her front teeth. And these are the recommendations and why. Yeah. So I think, again, just photos go a long way. They speak for us. They mm -hmm. reduce the amount of techno babble that we have to get into. Yeah, and just verbiage in general. Is yeah. there anything you see here that concerns you? Is there anything... You don't like about your smile. Yeah. I mean, that's instead of us having to tell them, mm -hmm. it's them asking. It's yeah. them, oh, what is that? Oh, yeah. what is this? And it's like they're asking us. They're making it so easy for us. And I think one thing, too, that is important to remember if we're taking photos already in our practice, a lot of times we use the word concern or bother. Like, does anything bother you? But I think something that is really important for us to remember is just like we don't want to put our own biases when it comes to finances on patient. Just because somebody has a beautiful smile to us doesn't mean that the patient may not love it or may not want it to be a little bit better or a little bit whiter. Yeah. And so I think that's an important thing to still not assume that everybody is or that patient is good to go. Still right. put the pictures up and say, is there anything that you like or dislike about your smile? Or yeah. have you ever thought about wanting, is there anything you've ever wanted to change? Yeah. And that way, it's not necessarily something that bothers them or concerns them, but it, maybe they do all of a sudden want veneers, like yeah. the person sitting next to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's funny because for years, I have said, when pictures go up on my teeth, uh, and everybody, you know what everybody says? Hmm. Why would you say that? You have beautiful teeth. Yeah. Your teeth are perfect. Why would you say that? I'm like, oh, I have a gap, seven and 10 are small. And they're like, no, that is so cute. <laughs> like, what? Like, what? Yeah. No, you did ortho. Like, your teeth are so straight. And I'm like, I have like, I'm getting like a snaggle tooth. Like, I am literally. We're our own you. worst critics. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you, someone could have so easily. Like, you're talking me out of dentistry yes. that I want. <laughs> and we do that to patients all day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, instead of, well, we'd be happy to look at this or talk about this or, you know, see what options we have for this when Dr. A comes in. Yeah. And those are the patients that are, I mean, how fun is that to get to walk through, through that process with the patient and be their advocate? And I mean, they come back like raving about the process and just you teeing them up for that opportunity. Um, I know in our, when we were in our old office, we had a patient that she didn't know that we did cosmetic work mm -hmm. yeah. and she went down the road. She kept coming to us for cleanings, but we just happened to see her for a cleaning right before she had um, already gone for a consultation to a cosmetic dentist down the road. And when she was in for her cleaning, she, she mentioned like, oh, yeah, I'm actually about to get veneers at another office. And Dr. Sully was like, whoa, like, I mean, I'm sure he didn't say whoa. Yeah. Um, but I, I think he was internally shocked. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. And so he was like, oh, if you don't mind me asking, like, you know, we do that here. Is that something that you'd be interested in us giving you a quote, a quote for? Do you mind me asking why you're going somewhere else? And literally all she said was, oh, I didn't know you guys did that. Yeah. And it was because we probably hadn't asked if she liked, because in our minds, she had a great smile. Right. Um, but we hadn't brought it up. And so she wasn't, she just didn't think it was even an option in our practice. Yeah. So well, that leads us to our subliminal marketing. Yeah. Which we could probably do a whole podcast. Yeah. On. But the good news was that we caught her in a, at a perfect time and she ended up doing it at our office. Right. And again, her thought was, um, it was right around COVID and she was on um, Zoom calls a lot. And in her mind, again, we're our own worst critics. Right. So she was like, I don't like the shadows. Yeah. yeah. It was just something that we would never be that critical of somebody else about. But right. she felt it and wanted to do it. Yeah. People will buy what they want to, what they're, uh, what they want. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode yeah. of our first foundational um, kind of 
you know, 3D fundam fundamental. Fundamental, but <laughs> also I think photos are kind of just the foundation of everything we base off of. Yeah. So um, I think creating awareness with photos is really important and a great way for team members to level up and kind of make themselves irreplaceable in the practice. I mean, it's hard to find, you know, you don't, it, it comes with training and practice and reps and coachability mm -hmm. and you don't just, you know, find somebody on the streets that can present it that way with the photos. So. And it's not something that they teach in assisting or hygiene no, school. So not. it's definitely yeah. a, a newer concept or just a unique concept, I think, for a lot of dental offices. But yeah. it, again, leads to so much conversation yeah. and just dentistry for the doctors. Yeah, photography skills. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, thanks for joining on our podcast today. Um, we're so glad to have you. If you've got any questions, thoughts, or, you know, concerns, or if there's any topics that you'd like to hear more about on our podcast, feel free to comment below. And don't forget to keep flossing and stay bossing.